Black drum? Yeah, I just, yeah, I just saw their tail. You hear him? You hear him? Look, right there. No, son, that was a drum. No, but you don't see what's on my side. They were literally tailing. I could feel it in my bones. There was something going on. That shade of doubt hanging around. That Cause darling, there is nothing right. When all you seem to do is lie. Those days are gone. I'm walking tall. Oh, wow. We actually have grass. Some seagrass right here. I have never seen this before, and the water is so clean, which that's what seagrass does. This is, well, this is a pleasant sight to see. I've got to write this down in my notes that we actually have some seagrass right here. The only thing that I normally fish when I come to this particular location is marsh grass. S similar to what I always do inside a lot of the other marsh systems that I fish, but this right here, again, pleasant sight to see. Hello everyone, welcome to MDLR Fishing. I hope we're gonna have a great day. Stick with me for a little bit and maybe we might see a catch, maybe we won't, but nonetheless, we're out here and that's the beauty of being able to go fishing. Otherwise, it'd be called catching, right? <laughs> I've been wanting to try this fella out for the longest time. That's the uh, Strike King, Mr. Crappie Spin Baby. I would have called it the Baby Spin, but... Here we go, let's work with this fella. The only concern that I have is the hook. Man, this is such a micro lure. It's freaking awesome. Tiny little spinner bait. This was designed for crappie too, so we'll see how it works out here in the salt. Normally, just about every crappie lure works just as well, if not better, for all of our saltwater fish than it does using it for what it was intended for. There we are. Oh, nice flounder. First fish of the day comes on the shrimp lure. We've been going around the horn, y'all. That is a really good hook set right there. Can't ask for a better one. This little fella's got a little bit of growing to do before he can uh, jump on somebody's plate. Making it happen with the shrimp lure again, man. This spot is notorious for flounder, that is for sure. Especially this portion of the bank. It's got a very shallow flat before it drops off into some deep water. And that shallow flat is nice and muddy too. Lots of bait love to hang out in that grass. I mean, y'all seen, if you've been watching the videos lately, there's been a lot of shrimp up inside that grass and that's what they're waiting for them shrimp to slip up, leave the safety of the bank line and the grass, and then flounder, redfish, and speckled trout will be there waiting for them. I'm going to put this guy away. I want to use the new little lure and see if we can make it happen. If we can't, well then we'll come right back to this fella right here. But let's see if we can get something off of the little baby spin. I have high hopes and I want this to work so bad. <laughs> Can we make it happen?
There we go. I knew this was gonna have to work. Oh, and it's another nice flounder. Get in the net, my friend. All right. That's one for the baby spin. That was a really good thump. Holy moly, man. Darn good thump. Oh, we barely had him too. Look at that. Nice. That's a good thump, buddy. Let's see if we can keep it up. Just this nice little shallow flat. The closer you can get to that grass line, the better. <laughs> Slowly swimming a spinner bait and another flounder. Oh, and he let go. Man, oh man. This it's always loaded with flounder and whenever they're on, they're on. Right over here. Usually a really good area. It's and the flat is it's a lot longer before you get to the drop too. And the fact that you got a drain right there, lots of bait will congregate at it and these guys can definitely get a good quick meal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like clockwork. Yeah, like clockwork. Bruh. Don't, don't, don't get over here. I am very impressed with the spinner bait. All right, we're gonna cut the motor and just anchor ourselves right here. That is a keeper. Nice keeper flounder. Looks good. Come on, buddy. Just chill out just for a quick second. Bro. I need you to behave. That is a really good one right there. Worthy of a photo. All right, buddy, we're gonna get you back inside that water. Oh, he ruined, he ruined our paddle tail. I mean, our little plastic. There we go. And we'll see you later. Oh, bro. Not cool, man, not cool. There we are. Oh gosh. Boy, this guy, he's got some muscle. Dude, I thought you was gonna be a big old massive one. Boy, combining two lures into one, that's the thought process for me whenever selecting this bait. Dude, my gosh, it's like, dude. Bo, you rambunctious turd. Well, he's, he bent the hook out too. My gosh, that's why you gotta have your drag set perfectly. Didn't get me, joke's on you, turd. Um, you gotta have that drag set. When you catch a big old monster, these freshwater lures designed for bass and crappie, well, they don't hold up too well. It's almost like a wire hook. Great penetrating power because it's a thin diameter hook point and it doesn't take much to get that to penetrate through their mouth. But what you do got to worry about is them straightening that hook out. So that's why these ultralights has got a very fast action, moderate or fast action tip. And it allows that uh, tension to give way by the rod bending and then the drag engages. I'm going to have to, oh yeah, I'm going to have to definitely back off on that. I'm over here talking all this smack about, man, drag and <laughs> there we go.
Mm, let it let it go. Let it go. All right. I didn't have enough drag set for that hook. For the hook set, there was not enough drag. That's what happens when you back it off at the last minute. Yeah, let's set this back up. Man, oh man, the, the flounder are crazy good today. Here we go. Let's see if we can get that guy to bite. Trolling at a really good speed, too. Half a mile an hour, somewhere around there. You got to love days like this. Holy moly, I love them. This is nonstop action. Bite after bite after bite. So we're not even going 20 minutes in between bites. And uh, we're getting something. Oh, I spooked some bait. We're getting some type of action. That is awesome. Nothing but flounder. Look at that. Another one. Nothing but flounder. These guys got a little bit of growing to do, but eventually. All right. There he is. Quick release. Uh, some growing to do. And then they are all going to be just perfect for the plate. You give them about three to four more inches on the bulk of those guys. What I really like about this particular area is that I'm this far away from the bank, seven yards or so, and I'm darn near in three and a half feet of water. And I mean, the bank is just literally right there. So very steep drop, muddy bottom, perfect for the flounder. And during the run, uh, this is definitely a go-to hot spot for a lot of local anglers. Feels like something bit it, but like I'm dragging them, but they're swimming with me. No, I must have been tapping some mullet or something, but that felt like a darn bite. That was a bite for sure. Let's take our time. He's going out into the middle. Here we go. There we are. All right, when you're done clowning around. He bent it out too. I'm gonna need you to let it go, dude. He hit it like literally, right as it hit the water, that's whenever he bit. I'm working a little bit deeper from the grass line. On my first pass, I was at about maybe a foot deep. This time we're right about two. There's a little bit more cooler water off into the center of the bayou. And so just in case they're pushing off of the edge, we have an opportunity to get some. I mean, I've been getting thumped left and right. I just, I cannot seal the deal. So they're probably grabbing the tail end of the lure. And every time I go to swing for the fences, uh, there's nobody home. Coming towards the end of our track. And I think that's gonna do it. It's already, yeah, it's already 10, so. 
either way, a great day of fishing. I'm certainly satisfied with today's results. Like one catch after another, the bite kind of tapered off right at around nine. So it's been an hour since we've uh, caught anything. I mean, we've been getting the hits. I just haven't really been able to seal the deal on that hook set. So I'm gonna continue fishing, but I'm gonna end this one right here. I wanna thank each and every one of y'all for tagging along on today's adventure. It's always a plus whenever I get to seal the deal and show y'all some fish being caught. It's amazing. For those of you that are curious about the area that I'm fishing, go down into my video description below or wait to the end of this video and click that Patreon link. That's gonna take you over to my, pra my Patreon page and for a very minimal fee, uh, two or five dollars a month you'll go over there and get a subscription for the entire month i provide fishing reports so you're going to see where i parked where i'm fishing uh, the hot spots for the area that i fish and why it is that i do the certain things that i do to be able to catch these fish and uh, if you're not from my area it definitely speeds your learning curve on your ability to be able to put a game plan together to come out here and enjoy a great day of fishing the way I'd get to. So for everybody else, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's content. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.